Hello there, today we're going to be looking at all 8 rares, their locations and loot inside the Night Off Zone of Darkshore. Also if you stick around to the end, I'll show you how as a hunter, you can tame one of the coolest looking pets in Classic WoW. Shadow Claw. Our first rare is Shadow Claw, a level 13 beastie that hangs around just north of Alberdeen. You may have a hard time trying to find this guy because he is semi stealthed, but if you do manage to kill him and get his loot, he has an increased chance to drop greens, and that's about it. No unique items from him, I'm afraid. Lysilin. Up next we have Lysilin who hides around inside of Bashal Aran as a level 14 rare demon. You may actually find that Lysilin is quite hard to kill as a low level player because he is primarily a fire mage and his fireballs do hit for a fair bit of damage. Also he hangs around a lot of other demons so you can accidentally pull more than one. As for Lu, if you manage to kill him he has an increased chance to drop greens and that is about it I'm afraid. Lord Sinslayer. Up next, and the winner of Coolest Cave Award in Classic WoW is Lord Sinslayer with his awesome waterfall cave here. I didn't actually, I don't think this exists anywhere else in Classic WoW, so it's really cool to see. This is at Cliff Spring Falls, I believe. I had some real difficulty finding this guy actually. He's really, really far down in one of the kind of side chambers at the bottom of this base. There's a lot of Nagas around, so it can be a real pain in the arse to get to him. He normally has a couple of adds around him as well, so it can be quite difficult if you're solo. His loot is an increased chance to drop greens. You can see a pattern of merging here, but the upside is he also has a chest nearby that normally has a green in as well. So if you want down here, definitely give him a shot. Carnivus the Breaker. Up next we have Carnivus the Breaker, a level 16 furbolg that sits just west of Ameth Aran. He's normally quite easy to pull away by himself as he kind of sits just a few yards away from his other furbolg friends here in the camp. What I would say for new players, or particularly low level players, is you need to watch out for this guy. He has a triple attack that can be really really dangerous when bundled with his Pierce Armor spell. If you kill him, Obviously, an increased chance to drop greens, it wouldn't be Darkshore without an increased chance to drop greens, and that's about it. Flagglemerk the Cruel Up next we have Flagglemerk, a level 16 murloc that hangs around on the Twilight Shore, just southwest of Ameth Aran. He's quite easy to kill and he's quite easy to spot as he's normally by himself. I would just say if you're low on health you need to watch out because he can knock you down and stop you from using a health potion or something like that. So that's just something to be aware of. Surprise surprise this guy doesn't have any unique loot either. He only has an increased chance to drop greens. So if you are looking out for random greens this is definitely one you need to take. Lady Moongazer Up next we have Lady Moongazer, a level 17 undead that roams around just just to the south of Ameth Aran. She's actually really really hard to find as she is a really kind of hollow looking undead and kind of blends in really really well with the scenery. I will say this, if you are a melee player you are going to have a really hard time fighting her as she will net you for several seconds and just fire at you with her bow. If you're not in melee with her she will just attack you with her bow straight up. Killing her will give you, surprise surprise, an increased chance to drop greens and nothing else I'm afraid. I would also watch out as well because she can also pull additional adds. Firecaller Radisson Up next we have Firecaller Radisson, a rather badass looking level 19 cultist that patrols around the Master's Glaive. There's not really too much to say about Firecaller Radisson, he is, as you would probably guess, a fire mage, and his fireballs hit like a truck. He also has the ability to use a fire nova as well, so that does a fair bit of damage to you. Unfortunately, I couldn't uh, show it here because I accidentally hit him a little too hard and he started running away. If you kill this guy, well, you're going to get an increased chance to drop greens. However, right next to him is one of those little nymph deer women. I'm not really sure what the actual... <laughs> correct term is but anyway she's right next to them if you talk to her as alliance you'll get a quest to escort her out the area which actually gives you a nice bit of xp 
Strider Clutch Mother. Up next is the Strider Clutch Mother, a level 20 rare tall Strider that is directly west of the Master's Glaive actually, literally a stone's throw. The Strider Clutch Mother is an, again an awesome looking tall Strider just like Masranache is. I think I probably prefer Masranache because it looks more like a flamingo and I just think that's absolutely hilarious. But nevertheless, the Strider Clutch Mother is a really really good beast to tame as a hunter. I don't know if the stats quite add up to some of the better pets in WoW but you know, who wouldn't want to be running around with a giant blue radioactive chicken? So, you know, I think it kind of balances out in the end. If you kill her and loot her, you will get, surprise surprise, an increased chance to drop greens. Who'd have known? And that's about it, really. So I said, if you stick around to the end, I'll show you hunters how to get one of the coolest pets in Classic WoW. And here it is, at the ruins of Mythistra in the far north of Darkshore. You will find these small cat figurines. You can actually right click on them. If you right click on it, you have a small chance to spawn a ghost saber. And it is a tameable beast that is half transparent, rather semi transparent. This is one of the few creatures in Classic WoW that is actually semi transparent and tameable. And I think makes an awesome pet. So if you are looking for something really, really cool, I think most people know now that the ghost saber is a thing. So don't be surprised if you see a lot of other people around here going after it and things like that. But nevertheless, it is a really cool pet to have, I think. Um, kind of like tigers and leopards and lions and those sorts of things. They're kind of good anyway to have as pets. They're really, really handy. If you kill this thing, you also get a glowing cat figurine. So you can use that to summon a ghost saber to fight for you for 10 minutes, which is kind of a cool little bonus as well. I would say this though, the ghost saber is a little bit unpredictable. As you can see, mine here literally just legged it for the nearest thing that it could kill. And then as you'll see here, shortly after it decided to run off and kill another one. So don't have high hopes. And that's the end of the video, thanks so much for watching, that was all 8 rares, their locations and drops, well, rather lack thereof drops inside of Darkshore. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a comment, and if you would like to see more of these, subscribe to the channel.